Hi guys. Well, this time it's a video spoken in English. I don't know if I can tell you in English, but anyway, I'm gonna do it. Um, in this case, I'll explain the process of taking data for upper dental jaw implant using the um, internal scanner and completing the screw retain superstructure with monolithic jaw cornea. The internal scanner used is 3Shape Torios. The design software is a 3Shape dental system. And the jaw cornea is a single color high trans um, 30, 30mm disc that is not multi -reviewed. The implant, a uh, dish implant, and uh, fitted with a uh, multi unit abutment, which is a scan flag and a titanium ring from Shofu. So, uh, taking impression data is normal with the standard method, including upper provision scan data, gingival scan data, scan flag, the lower jaw scan, the left and the right bite scan data. In this case, I don't prepare working model with a 3D printer. In other words, it will explain the process of making without using the model. You know, someone says it's impossible to make a full mass superstructure with the internal scans, but you will find it wrong, you know? However, it is necessary to prepare an index model to see the exact position of the implant. The first, prepare an index frame, fix this frame and the impression copying in the order with resin. And then the abutment analog to the taking internal index frame to make an index model. And attach the scan flag on the model's abutment analog and prepare the data scanned by the desktop scanner. This step is very important. Okay, this part is difficult to explain. Anyway, make an order form with the three shape dental system to design. For the implant parts, select a screw fixed crown, otherwise, select, a, select the crown pontic, and then the select connector bridge to connect everything. Then uh, select a gingival in the gingival module to add the gingival part. So when you select add scan in the upper right, um, you can see here, this is it. Uh, display the do you want to re-import scan? So please select yes, and look for the abutment alignment scan in the file. This is abutment alignment scan. So attach the scan flag in the oral and transfer the data taken here. This is it. Um, and uh, rename the file to make it easier for you. So, the display, do you want to re-import the scan? Now, the select yes. Okay, next, the close the order form and the select import scan. So when you select the import scan, open gingival scan, it displayed. This is it. Um, so select the data with the abutment attached. You know. Then uh, the import the opposite taste and the use occlusion alignment scan as it is. So, the next, the abutment alignment scan. You can see now, this is important. So now, import the scanner data of the index model. 
In other words, the exact implant positions reflect the index model data. You know, then the order form is completed. <coughs> okay. Start up the order form and align the occlusal position. So next, in the cut item, the trim the unnecessary part for the upper and the lower jaws. That this is upper jaw, uh, draw the line like this, and also lower jaws. The draw the line. So next. The index model data imported into abutment alignment scan. This is it. The blue one is overlaid with the data taken with the scan flag in the mouse, the color one. And uh, find the three matching point. Right now, everything has overlapped. So if you can do that, you will align the scan flag library of each implant position and the scan flag of the index model. So right now, the overlay six scan flags with that uh, of the library. Then you can see the titanium link in the library will be displayed. So you can see now. So from here, I'll design each teeth, the select appropriate shaped teeth from the teeth library in Smile Composer and uh, arrange them based on the provisional data. So next, the set the outline in the gingiva form and design the gingiva. So now you can see the outline now. As you can see, the realistic crown and gum design is complete. Right? So after this, the exported STL data is imported into the mailing machine software for nesting. You know, it is important to be able to reproduce this realistic design. <coughs> okay, these three pictures are just after mailing. In such a long span case, be sure to place an iron type meta connector during nesting to prevent deformation of the zirconia frame during sintering. Since it is milling by five axis machining, so you can see the design is reproduced in very detail. The texture on the labial side, the cruiser surface, the axis hole, and the ringer side are all reproduced very well. And uh, using the diamond disc on the zirconia frame after mirroring, only a little cut is made in the interdental part and almost no shape correction is performed. I'll color the zirconia with a sintering liquid. Um, since it, it is a single color disc, the body color is divided into multiple layers for a gradation. And the blue or gray effect liquid is used near the inside out. Apply pink liquid to the gingiva design area, but stop at the bottom of the cervical line 3 to 4 millimeter below. This is because I want to make the color tone of the 
thin part of the gingiva just below the cervical line more natural with a stain after firing. After applying the syndromic liquid, put it in an oven at 100 degrees for about 15 minutes and dry it well and put it in the sintering furnace. The furnace temperature is stayed once at 1100 degrees for about, you know, 30 minutes. And then slowly rise up to 15, 40 degrees. The firing time is uh, about 15, 15 hours. It's very long. Like an important super, uh, like an implant superstructure frame has a large difference between the thin part and the thick part of zirconia. I think it is necessary to cool it, cool it slowly so that can uh, can be um, released slowly. Okay, uh, it is the state after applying sintering liquid before firing zirconia frame and after firing after sintering the crown now has graduation of color from cervix to incisor edge although the overall coloring, coloring is right um, this is my suggestion the coloring is controlled by staining after this you know so you can also see the fit of the joint of each titanium ring in this video now. You can see a nice fit without any adjacent. All parts are unadjusted. See? So next, okay, let me show you how to stain after sintering. In my case, I first apply a thin and clear paste to the overall, and then I apply the base color from the cervical area to the incisor edge. Um, it depends on the how much you want to color correct. Okay. So, when you, uh, when the frame is completely fixed like this, stains are very difficult to apply. Actually, it is not fixed like this. This is just because I want to, I want to make it easier for you to see. Anyway, after that, apply the purple paste near the incisor edge to control the brightness. That depending on the case. Uh, warm colored paste which contrasts with the purple color is applied near to prevent it from becoming dark as a whole and reproduce a sense of transparency. And apply the blue paste to the incisor edge and the major edge. So please be careful here. If you apply too much, it will look unnatural, you know. Blue is emphasized by thinly applying the warm orange color on the both sides of blue. Okay, the applying um, opaque ivory paste to the incisor edge and uh, both major edge. It is possible to emphasize the shape of the teeth and the blue transparency applied to the incisor margin. Okay, next. Uh, the gingerbread color is reproduced using uh, three to four types of pink paste. Uh, this video is uh, for demonstration, so I, I applied all the paste at once, but in reality, it is very difficult to to the such long span frame in the one bake, you know. So it is better to apply it in several times. In this case, in in fact, 
application and firing uh, repeated in the three times. After the sync, sintering is completed, the cement, the frame, and the titanium link. The crown part uses a warm colored paste and uh, crown, a cold color paste to uh, create a natural appearance. The gingiva is done in the graduation color to create a more nature looking gum. The completed superstructure. You can see the zirconia frame and the titanium ring seated with, without any gaps. You know, uh, you can see that all six locations have a similar fit. Also, fitted nice with the index model. Uh, what I can say, if the interval scan data and the interval index provision data uh, overlaid on the uh, dental system, it means it is possible to make a superstructure that is externally suitable even without a working model. So that's why someone says internal scans do not allow full mouse processes. What do you think of this? Well, anyway, uh, the Ringo view and the Cruiser view. Uh, it's a very beautiful superstructure. Okay, this is a final. It is a photograph immediately after fitting it from front of view. Okay, uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Uh, let's get together again. Bye now. Thank you.